In this video, you'll learn how to install FileZilla CLI. First, buy FileZilla CLI from the FileZilla Pro website. The operating system will ask you to confirm you want to allow this program to make changes to your device. Once you confirm, the FileZilla command line wizard will guide you through the installation process. You are asked to agree to FileZilla command line's license terms and privacy policy. FileZilla command line asks you to decide if anyone can use it on your computer or if it is only for your user account. Make your choice and click Next. FileZilla command line then asks you which component you want to install. If you wish to have an icon on the desktop, select that option. Next, you have to decide where to install FileZilla command line. If you are OK with the default location, just click on the Next button. Now you can choose the Start Menu folder for FileZilla CLI. Again, if you are OK with the default name, just click on the Next button. Note that if you don't want to create a shortcut, you can select the checkbox at the bottom left. FileZilla command line is getting installed. Once FileZilla CLI is installed, you can launch it from the desktop. On the first run, FileZilla command line prompts for registration. You will be asked to provide the registration key, or if you do not have the registration key, enter the email you used when you purchased FileZilla CLI. FileZilla command line terms and conditions are shown. Enter yes to accept them and start using FileZilla CLI. You are all set. Thank you for choosing FileZilla command line. In this video, you learned how to install the command line version of FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to transfer files using FileZilla command line. Launch FileZilla CLI. To connect to a remote site, enter the connect command followed by the protocol type, user, password, and server host name or address. To list the content of the current directory, enter the ls command. To change the current directory, use the cd command. To see what is in the current directory, enter the pwd command. To change the local current directory, use the lcd command. To upload a file, enter the command put followed by a local file name. To download a file, enter the command get followed by a remote file name. In this video, you learned how to transfer files using FileZilla CLI. In this tutorial, you will learn how to access cloud storage services that require an authorization using FileZilla CLI. Some storage services like Google Drive, Google Cloud, and Dropbox require an additional authorization step. Launch FileZilla CLI. Enter the connect command to connect to the remote cloud storage of your choice. An authorization URL is shown. Copy the URL and paste it in your web browser address field. If you are not logged in yet, you'll need to enter your credentials. Grant FileZilla CLI access to your data. After the authorization is completed, you may close the browser. FileZilla CLI asks you to trust the server certificate. Choose Yes to continue. Now you can access your remote files. In this video, you learned how to access cloud storage services that require an authorization using FileZilla CLI. In this tutorial, you will learn how to access cloud storage services that require an authorization using FileZilla CLI. Some storage services, like Box and OneDrive, require an additional authorization step. Launch FileZilla CLI. Enter the Connect command to connect to the remote cloud storage of your choice. An authorization URL is shown. Copy the URL and paste it in your web browser address field. If you are not logged in yet, you'll need to enter your credentials. Copy to the clipboard the code generated by the cloud provider. After the authorization is completed, you may close the browser. In FileZilla CLI, paste the authorization code. FileZilla CLI asks you to trust the server certificate. Choose Yes to continue. Now you can access your remote files. 
In this video, you learn how to access cloud storage services that require an authorization code using FileZilla CLI. In this FileZilla CLI tutorial, you will learn how to view and change the settings and how to get help on the commands. Launch FileZilla CLI to see a list of available settings. Enter the set command without parameters. To view the current value for a setting, enter the set command followed by the name of the setting. Some settings don't have a default value. To modify a setting, enter the set command followed by the name of the setting and the new value. Check the setting new value by using the set command followed by the name of the setting. To make the changes permanent, enter the set save command. The changes in the settings have been saved now. For a list of available settings, visit the link you find in the description. While using FileZilla CLI, you may need to learn how to use a command. Enter the command help followed by the name of the command. The help command shows you how to use the command along with a short description and the available options. Enter the help command without parameters to see the full list of commands. In this FileZilla CLI video, you learn how to view and change the settings and how to get help on the commands. In this tutorial, you will learn FileZilla CLI's commands to manage directories. Launch FileZilla CLI. Connect to a remote site. To change the local current directory, use the LCD command. To create a local directory, use the LMKD command. To download a directory and its contents, enter the command rget, followed by the name of the remote directory. To remove a remote directory, enter the command rmd, followed by the name of the remote directory. To create a remote directory, enter the command mkd, followed by the name of the new remote directory. To rename a local file or directory, enter the command lren, followed by the name of the file or directory and the new name. To upload a directory and its contents, enter the command rput, followed by the name of the local directory. To rename a remote file or directory, enter the command ren, followed by the name of existing file or directory and the new name. To remove a local directory, enter the command lrmd, followed by the name of the local directory. In this video, you learn how to use the commands to manage directories. FileZilla CLI is fast and reliable, plus it supports a variety of other cloud protocols, Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Storage, Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, Amazon EC2, Backblaze B2, WebDAV, and SharePoint. 